Like everything else, vegetable seeds are becoming more expensive as demand continues to exceed supply. Here is a simple way to save your own cucumber seeds from your favorite heirloom or open pollinated variety. Hello, this is Stephen from ShortSeasonGarden.com and I offer tips and tricks for gardening in any climate, but especially for short seasons like here in Zone 3 in Eastern Canada. So give my video a thumbs up and a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Check me out on social media on Instagram or Facebook at Short Season Garden. Or you can go to my website at www.shortseasongarden.com. Cucumber seeds are very easy to save. There are just a few important things you need to know. Just as with any other plant species, if you want to be sure that the offspring has the same characteristics as the parents, only save seeds from open pollinated or heirloom varieties. Unlike tomatoes, which have perfect flowers and usually self-pollinate, cucumbers and all other cucurbits have separate male and female flowers and easily cross-pollinate. So even if your cucumber is an heirloom, it can cross-pollinate with another plant up to a half mile away, unless you follow careful hand-pollinating techniques. I took a chance and grew two varieties of cukes, an early container variety and a later open pollinated variety, hoping that the flowers would not be open at the same time. Like tomato seeds, or any other seeds for that matter, cucumber seeds should not be harvested until the fruit is ripe. The difference is you can eat a ripe tomato. You do not want to eat a ripe cucumber. Cucumbers at the eating stage are young, green, and often prickly skinned. Cucumbers that are ready for seed saving are way past the eating stage and are a golden color and hollow sounding. In zone 3 where I live, it can be difficult to get a cucumber to that stage unless you leave some of your earliest cucumbers on the vine. The problem is that the plant will stop producing if you don't keep the cucumbers picked. A suitable compromise, as it gets close to frost time, is to let a few cucumbers get as large as possible. Then, when hard frost is predicted and you can no longer protect your plants, bring the fruit inside to finish ripening. When the cucumber is a golden color and sounds hollow, simply slice the cucumber lengthwise and scoop out the seeds with their surrounding juices into a bowl. Like with the tomato, Cucumber seeds are protected by a gel to help them survive the digestive tract of animals that eat the fruit. That gel coating needs to be removed for the seeds to germinate. This is done through the fermenting process. Collect as much of the juices surrounding the seeds as possible and pour it together with the seeds into a bottle. You may want to cover the bottle loosely to help with odors and avoid fruit flies. Store the bottle out of direct sunlight at room temperature for three or four days to allow the juices to ferment. Stir the seeds daily. You will notice the viable seeds sink to the bottom while the rest will float. After three or four days, pour the seeds with the surrounding fluids into a water pitcher and add lots of water. Carefully pour off as much water as possible together with everything that floats to the top. Repeat the process several times. Then pour the remaining seeds into a strainer, rinse them well, and spread them out on a coffee filter or paper plate to dry. Leave the seeds spread out away from direct sunlight until they are completely dry, checking daily to make sure seeds are not clumping together. Once your seeds are completely dry, store them in a cool dark place in a waterproof container for next year's planting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.